the first ever sick week down here in Florida. April's here. And uh, we got a very special ride this weekend because we uh, rented a car, the old Kia. So we didn't come down to race, uh, ended up not working out. So we just flew down, got a rental car. And like I've told everybody on race weeks and drag weeks and sick weeks, it's not always about racing. Like literally this event is an amazing event and it's fun to come to and watch and just be a part of. So we even flew in, rented a car, and we're gonna go watch the whole week, huh? Yep. Well, Most maybe not the, the whole week. Most of the week. We're gonna hit a few spots and then we're gonna mini vacay in between and just enjoy the week with some loud cars and uh, three cars driving down the road. So let's walk up this way and see what we can find. There's a ton of cars getting teched in already today. What are you doing, Joe Barry? Hi, James. What are you doing? You ready for the week? Now I'm ready to take a nap. Looks like it. <laughs> Got a long trip all the way down here. Oh my gosh, I keep falling asleep. <laughs> How long has this line been? A couple hours? <laughs> yeah, right. We were in this line at 9 o'clock. I've been here six hours. You're almost there, Joe. Just right there. a test day so everybody just gets to make some test hits on day one see what their car can do try to get it all dialed in for tomorrow which is day two slash actually day one of sick week a bunch of people are getting in the lanes here getting ready to make their test passes here today so we're gonna go up to the lane just kind of watch and see what everybody runs some crazy fast stuff here so excited to see what uh, everybody throws down Watch you guys closer this week. See, see who puts in the work. Yeah, you think? unbelievable, Joe. Uh, listen, do you see those little sticks hanging out the back of that <laughs> car? I put those bad boys on. Wow, well, that's impressive. There's a little trick. His name's Blaine. <laughs> the last time we saw this car was in the garage in Colorado, getting fixed. So uh, Clint's all the way down here in Florida now, getting ready to run. What's up, man? All right, good luck. All right, man. So sick. It's extremely fast. I think it's been 690s LS built in a wagon. And uh, I, if I was going to build a specific drag week vehicle, I think I'd do something like a wagon. Just super cool. I mean, we're going to build one anyway, but if I was going to start from scratch, I guess. So, see how this thing runs. But that is kind of part of my plan. I mean, the Camaro is 100% being built to come do these events. So, that's kind of part of the extended build and all the extra things we'll kind of do for that car is to make it so it's easy to drive consistent here at these events and hopefully really, really fast. This 
little Chrysler, Diamond Chrysler. I don't know exactly what it is. This thing is so cool. I don't know why I love these little like 70s and 80s like micro cars, but I love them and they're super cool. We'll see what this thing runs. It's gonna be interesting. Week and uh, but we checked out this wooden frame. I don't even know what this thing model something old school deal that uh, open header. Just this thing. If on the whole week, I can imagine driving this thing. You ready to go on this thing all week? No, this is real wood. <laughs> yeah, wood wheels, everything. So, what a wild ride that's gonna be on the uh, entire week! So, pretty cool. And I'm excited to see this thing rolling down the road. <laughs> this is pretty awesome. Solid day one ish. Solid day one, yeah. Day point five testing. Just rolled in for day two. Day two. A little late. We uh, had some work to do this morning. Rolled in, watching the live feed before we got here, so it's perfect. Nice, relaxed atmosphere for us this week, and that's for sure. But we've been watching. There's already been a lot of broken parts and people working on things already here in the pits. It's pretty crazy. Good morning, Joe. <laughs> Fast she went seven, seven nineteen, one ninety one. Turn down. Yeah, 25 pounds. How are you done today? I'm, we're getting on the road. Aaron in the silver F body, kind of like my car on the far lane, has won a bunch of these, I think, 850 class. I know he's always a killer. Yesterday, he went an 849 with a 9, almost an exact perfect 850 pass. So, excited to see what he does right here. Kind of gives me an idea of, like, next year, we decide to run an 850 class or whatever we could, but the car should be faster, so I don't know if we'd run that or not. too fast 845 so i'm turning around and uh make another hit because they got to go in 850 if you go too fast break out you can't even turn that slip in so you got to keep going until you at least you get a good slip for the next like six cars it shows you really the caliber of all the cars that are here dave schroeder with the better went sixes letting off early had a little backfire today but still goes sixes unbelievable car then you got the shitbox of doom driven by Aiden Bailey. You got Tom Bailey's car that went like a 620 this morning at 2, like 23 or 230, something crazy. And we go just a little bit over here, real similar power plant, but in a wagon. We got Steve Morris uh, Boostmaster car, and just it's unbelievable the caliber of cars, right? Just his next couple cars. Then you got you know, Alex Taylor's 55. It's, I think they went 740s, almost 200, 190 something mile an hour. They are doing killer on these drag and drive events. Then, of course, the Joe Barry. You guys know he just went a 719. Got Royce with his blown big block Mustang that is good. Man, that thing's got to be crazy to drive all freaking week. So loud, unbelievably loud. And that car will go mid sevens. And then Tom McGilton has, you know, the Why Not Camaro that's just 
a beautiful bell that has all the, you know, this thing has still all the amenities. I think it's still got AC and heat, uh, navigation, all that stuff. But Tom's car, built specifically for drag and drive events, still has just the good interior in it. Great for him to cruise around. And this thing does awesome. So cool to see just, I mean, that's just those cars. And you got so many other cars that are extremely fast and all that, but that's like a high caliber cars that are right here right behind the pit so you get to come check out watch and then uh the best part is when we leave here today you get to watch them drive down the road we're going boys pretty good yeah. ready to go yeah loading both up or yeah both made a hit today so perfect hell yeah do you both did nice. a back and forth. who guys about it's got a big single pro mod 98 on it 427 this thing weighs like 3800 pounds though so he has a bunch of extra coolers a lot of stuff for the dragon drive but then It looks like an old like bracket car that would have been at the track 20 plus years ago and built, you know, bracket race for years and years and years, and now it's here doing dragon drives. What's up, dude? Not much. What's going on? Can you make a pass yet? Not yet. Dang it. This be the first one. The boost controller's off because the engine's new. So yeah. I think it'll probably run like a 1060 or something stupid like yeah. that. You gonna keep turning up throughout the week? Or are you trying to run in class or what? Uh, we'll keep turning it up. Yeah. Cool. Oh yeah. We're not fast enough to wait anyway, so we're just doing our own thing as usual. Just too heavy. Yeah. <laughs> they don't make classes for people like me. <laughs> in a class of your own, buddy. Yeah. Well, good to see you back out. You too. Oh yeah. That's 10 crew out here. This little thing is awesome. It's got great patina on it. It's a freaking awesome little truck. Think. Should we put a nine inch under Bernie and bring him on a race week or drag week or sick week or something? Because I think it'd be super cool. But I mean, it wouldn't be very fast, but it'd be fun to bring Bernie that's designed to do burnouts on an event like this. I mean, we got the whole bed to put stuff in. Big Cadillac goes 929 at 150. That's pretty awesome. Race track lunch. Cheeseburgers. <laughs> review. <laughs> Food review of race track cheeseburgers. So you can't see it going on the track because it covers itself up. But uh, how's them fries? Great. Pretty good. Great fries. Here. I already smashed mine. I was so hungry. I'm gonna go 10 out of 10 because I'm so dang hungry. <laughs> He's like, I don't know. I need to break my mouth. <laughs> there we go. Got something to say about that cheese. Can I do a 7 out of 10? 7 out of 10, huh? How about the fries, though? I mean, I would like, I'd take those fries over a Wendy's. You know? Fries are great. Yeah, they're great. So we're gonna go with a uh, split of I was starving as a 10 out of 10 and you're 7 out of 10, so. Go 8.5? 8.5 out of 10. <laughs> well, just got done with lunch and there's still a bunch of cars in the lanes here. Most of the fast cars, it's kind of like they ran for a while all the fast cars this morning. And then, I mean, it's still fast cars, but 
uh, the little bit slower cars in kind of the afternoon so those real fast cars kind of get it out of the way so they can get on the road so you have some people packing up to leave and some people still waiting I think to make their first pass so a little different uh, organization here on sick week kind of interesting how they're doing it this little opal is awesome reminds me of Clyde you know all the little 70s cars that are just miniature but this thing's even got a seven something certain cage probably 750 maybe 60 big block with a blower on it just this thing is so rowdy and so cool looking and driving down the road looking out that would be pretty pretty crazy <laughs> Love this little car though, so sweet. Richard in the black car here, stick shift out of Canada, like three, four day drive or whatever, all the way down here, amazing. He drove this GTO all the way from Canada, ladies and gentlemen. Minus eight degrees, put snow tires on it and drove it all the way from Canada, down here to Florida, no trailer. The little car that thing's awesome, but then he, uh, Richard, went 910, so pretty awesome. He is truly the Iron Man of these Dragon Drives because he drives the car from Canada to wherever he's been to Colorado to drag. I think he's done drag weeks, I know he's done both race weeks, all that type of stuff. So he'll drive it multiple days to the event, do the whole week, and then he's got to drive it all the way back home, which is super gutsy because if something bad were to happen, you've got to figure out how to fix it and get it all the way back home to Canada. Everybody's starting to head out. That thing is so crazy. So one of the absolute most gorgeous cars on the property is this brand new Nova. I think this is the one that set the hydraulic world record like horsepower wise. Came out here, unfortunately put it in the wall today and I thought that they were done, but they're over here working on it, trying to get it all back together. They just had it run. I just walked up to look at it. I didn't realize where it was at. Looks like they're trying to get this thing fixed up and still continue on, I think. So unbelievable if that's the case. Must not tack through the nines. That must be the There you go. That's all righty so we are about out of here there is still cars in the lanes joe barry and alex taylor and a few other people are uh, gonna be right probably in front of us behind us whatever but we got our route just like we would if we were on race week or whatever so we can head towards orlando fortunately it looks like they're gonna rain all day tomorrow but either way we're gonna go up there hang out with everybody and uh just kind of enjoy part of this trip yeah, maybe Long day. To Disney or something. I got a forehead and my forehead is so sunburned today. Ooh, we. Oh, my nose is cooked. Man. So, so, I mean, I can't really complain. We could be at home, it could be freezing right now. So, um, yeah, so we're going to get on the road and get some gas in this rig since it's getting like 40 miles to the gallon. And then get some food. What are you, ready for some food? Food. Really worried about the important things this week uh, with the old rental car, you know, food and what we're gonna drink so it's not even racing but we're still eating gas station snacks now waiting for some people here at the uh gas station but this is stuff you won't ever see right you got this you know, s10 blazer sitting here but then joe and michelle and then alex taylor rolled in and all this stuff and you got guys over here working the park lot but a 55 a 56 i mean you're talking 5,000 horsepower between them or whatever probably and uh just the coolest stuff ever you see at the gas station. Just hang out, chat with everybody, take pictures, and move on to the next one. And here to the first checkpoint, it's just this little deal over here across the street. Everybody's kind of cruising out of here too. Uh, some trailer burnouts all day long, which is freaking awesome. This thing looks so good. Like, it's such a cool looking elk. Can you see? Yeah. I like it though, it's just got that right. Yeah. Right into the top, started from the flow. How we got up here, you don't need to know. Sniffing on an M, I be one of those. Sniffing on an M, like I got a cold. Need to know, now nah, you don't need to know. Need to know, now nah, you don't need to know. What a long day. And we weren't even racing, but pretty cool. Made it to the hotel. Tons of cars out here in the parking lot. It's supposed to rain all day tomorrow, which, and then we'll see everybody on Friday. So it kind of sucks because it could, 
it cuts our kind of week short on watching some racing, but hey, that's part of it. And uh, hang out in the parking lot a little bit tonight and get some, get a good shower, and relax, got a good dinner. Thanks, Joe Barry. Yeah, and thanks, uh, <laughs> see you guys tomorrow. Well, the Kia made it to Orlando Speed World, which we figured it would. But anyway, uh, yep, we are here at Orlando Speed World here in Orlando, Florida, which is a track that, you know, just world known, used to do lots of heads up street car stuff back in the day. And they're still, I mean, I think a pretty fairly popular track, but it's kind of cool. All they did was turn it into a checkpoint. So people just pull in now, check in here, and then they're headed to the next track. Cause unfortunately today it was a complete rain out. It's not raining yet, but it showed afternoon all the way into the evening. So once I got started, more or less, it was gonna rain all freaking day. So uh, yeah, just came by. To See the big Orlando Speed World sign and check out the track. So, otherwise, I think we might head to Disney World today. And then, like I said, we're kind of calling it here. We're not going to go to Gainesville or Valdosta. I've been to Valdosta, I've never been to Gainesville, but we're going to take a little mini vacay and then meet everybody back on Friday at Bradenton. They broke a rear end, I think it was yesterday. I had to do some fixing, putting Michelle to work all week, but they hey, made it through another Dragon Drive, drive event. Let's see what they do to finish it off. Unfortunately, Aiden uh, Bailey Thompson that puts on the event in that shitbox of doom, he went down, ended up kind of going left, right, and then spun and, you know, rolled the car. So we've been down for a little bit, but good thing he had all the safety equipment, safety cars built well, all that stuff. So uh, now Joe's getting ready to go again, and we should get back to racing. But always unfortunate to see something like that, such a, like, car and a young kid and doing that all week, and then have such a kind of shitty ending. It sucks, but hey. And that's why you wear all the safe stuff. That's why you build the car to be safe and all those things. So good to see him that he, you know, walks away from a pretty nasty accident at like 160 mile an hour.
this thing. Let's see what they lay down on their last pass. Usually people uh, turn it up and see what happens. So either it might be a fast pass of the week, or it could be a break, or it could be, you know, an early shutoff. Crazy event, lots of cool stuff, fast cars. So, otherwise, hit that subscribe button. See you guys next time.